Hi there guys, here is Ola and my blog about Ukraine. If you used to listen to my blog, you know that I always tell you Ukraine is a very big country and very different in different parts of this huge country and today I want to tell you about Transcarpathians region. It's uh, uh, also a special region in, in Ukraine because it's divided from other parts of Ukraine by mountains, Carpathians, and Transcarpathian region means behind Carpathians or maybe before Carpathians if you come from Europe and this region have of course special customs, uh, special people, uh, special weather even and a lot of very interesting things. So if you're interested in Transcarpathian region you're welcome to listen my blog. So if uh, my telling about Transcarpathian will not very boring, I will show you my video when I travel there in this region. Uh, so, uh, as I said, weather here is a little different uh, in, and this region calls also sunny Transcarpathians because they are also very very sunny uh, and warm even in, at the same time when in other parts of Ukraine can be old and rainy. And of course, there is not so big difference, but I think climate is uh, kind of softer than in other parts of Ukraine. Uh, today, uh, we have different custom of people, and it's a result of that Transcarpathia region for a long time was under power of Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Austria, and of course, Soviet Union. Uh, so it cannot make impact in people's uh, life. Uh, today mostly people and a little government try to make Transcarpathian uh, region a uh, center of tourism in Ukraine and I think they are very very successful in that way. Uh, there is a lot of interesting things that you can find in Transcarpathians. For example, here is historical things, mystical places, uh, also resort, mineral water, uh, thermal spa, green tourism, village tourism and other things. Uh, and all this stuff, uh, they have great service and cheap price, especially for Ukrainians, because I don't want to find south of Ukraine, but <laughs> this year I'm looking for going somewhere on the sea and price is very expensive for the same, the same level of service that you can find in Carpathians. So go to Carpathians, it's more times cheaper and I choose Carpathians. But if you're a foreigner, for you now all things in Ukraine are cheap, so you can choose not Carpathians but sea. But this video about Transcarpathians or Zakarpathian region about Ukraine and I continue. Um, so, uh, I was in, as I said, I was in Transcarpathian this uh, year and uh, I will tell you a little from my experience about this region uh, and um, make an accent in some point. At first it's term, thermal, thermal water. Uh, if you're from East Europe, probably you know that a very famous thermal water is in Hungary. So Ukraine have the same thermal water, but in Ukrainian like territory. And it was a very, very old, bad uh, Soviet resort, which they restore uh, just maybe three years ago. And now it's a very, very popular place for tourists. Uh, they have, it have a lot of, uh, I think, um, money now and very interesting uh, very interesting relax you can have here it's a place called Kosony and Berehova maybe we have some other place but this too is crazy popular for tourists and unfortunately this year I can't go there but I hope next time I'll visit it and maybe make video from this place now I can just show you pictures the next one, mineral water. Uh, Carpathian region, Transcarpathian region are very famous, but it's mineral water. If you have some illness, if you need some resort, if you want to make your health better, you're welcome to this Transcarpathian region. They have a lot of different mineral water, uh, which you can choose just if you have some problem with health, you need to choose what exactly water you need. But uh, there is not problem to find place where to live. Uh, 
and you just need to choose the best uh, price and the best um, like conditions for yourself. Uh, this resort proposes multiple services, water pools, saunas, salt rooms, spa treatments, massa massage massages for very very different types and of course at the same time you can drink mineral, mineral water, uh, feel fresh air and have um, great relax in this place. Green tourism. If you just like um, fresh air, if you like mountains uh, and you want just to relax in a very quiet condition, you can also choose Transcarpathian region. They have a lot of uh, conditions for that. You can rent house, you can live in hotel or you can of course camping. You can camping everywhere in the mountain somewhere near the mountain and have great relax here. Also I want to mention that we have village tourism. It means that you come to village and you live like uh, like average citizen here and you do all of this um, work that do also people in village. So you can feed animals, uh, look after these animals, you can clean houses, do something in the garden and this is pretty popular not only in Carpathians, even in my region, in Khmelnytsky region you also can find this but also you can do this in Carpathians so they have some special lifestyle because it's mount, like a uh, place with mountains and uh, you can do everything what you want here. It's very, very popular for tourists now. Um, entertainment. What to do in Transcarpathian region in general. Uh, so there is a lot of castles, churches, old buildings. So you can just walk in and see everything around. If you like active, uh, relax. Uh, you can go to waterfalls trout farms uh, you can find a lot of big gardens where you can sleep when you can where you can sleep and breathe their propolis you can swim on vats it's very popular uh, entertainment for tourists for everyone who comes to Carpathians they love to try to try it at, at least once in their life of course rafting on the river uh, you can also do this, it's very very popular and you can see uh, like um, these uh, services everywhere. In general I need to say I was in Transcarpathian region um, just a week ago, there is not problem to find what to do. They, there is a lot of, uh, there is everything for tourists so you just can go and they propose you from the both tight, go to castle, go to on rafting, go on salt room, go somewhere else. So that's not problem for tourists to find what to do in Transcarpathian region. And of course I need to mention that the regional center is Ujurut. Very very interesting city but I will make other movie about it so I will not tell you a lot. Just very interesting city with very very interesting architecture. Vine. Uh, we ha there is a lot of grape garden and every person at home made wine but also there is a big plant called Chizai and uh, uh, they produce a lot of wine from Transcarpathian region and I know that uh, some wine is very special because of uh, special climate condition in this region and, of co and also they have on their grape um, special bacteria and um, like other things uh, which makes this wine very special and um, distinguish Transcarpathian, Zakarpathian uh, wine from other like wine, like Hungarian and something else. So if you are expert on this and if you know how to distinguish one wine from another, you can also try Transcarpathian wine. I think you will like it. Probably it's mm, have very very special taste of that really makes it very special. I also need to say that uh, Zakarpatia it's mostly a village region. Of course they have uh, some cities but not very big cities. There is no megapolis but uh, villages are very very comfortable and I want to show you a video from one of village restaurants where we ate and it looks pretty good and if you go to any other restaurant you don't think oh my goodness it's probably very very poor. No, they all are in very great condition and service are very very great and people are very very great. 
Hope guys you love my video. I'm waiting for your comments about Transcarpathian region. I'm waiting for your uh, suggestions to me and for your impressions. And of course guys, I love you all. Bye.